Hello, today is a video not necessarily for my students, but amateur radio operators throughout the world, those of you that are using DMR radios for some of the Baofengs, TYTs, and uh, radiodities, GD77 and GD77S that support a firmware called Open GD77. And it really uh, makes the radio a lot better for amateur radio use. I wouldn't use it in the business setting. I don't think that would be legal, but um, it's really good for amateur radios. So stick around and check out my other videos about OpenGD77. This video is just showing how to install it since it moved from the repository on GitHub to another location. All right, so here we are. I'm at OpenGD77.com, and I'm going to show you where I found this. These are directions, and they're very straightforward. There is one thing that I think uh, it could benefit from adding, and I'm going to talk you through that. So once you go to OpenGD77, there might be a little thing up here where you have to accept the cookies. Then click on FAQ. It's also here, but it might move from there. So click on FAQ. And then flash the OpenGD77 firmware, new procedure. This is very self-explanatory. You go in order, step by step. I'll sort of talk you through it. It says install the latest CPS, which is the software that we use. Click it. It'll download. It'll open up a new window like this. You just click here. It only works on Windows. Download it. Install it. Move on to the next step, okay? It says, check the installation instructions here. When I click on that, it goes here. Basically, what you need is a copy of the GD77 firmware. And I think, and this is the commercial firmware. And this is, I guess it's the ham, ham firmware available, available commercially from Radiodity. And I believe this applies to all your radios. So whether you are using a GD77, an MD760, a 730, a 77S, an 1801, an 860, RD5R, or the Tier 2. All of those need the Radi Oddity um, firmware. So you will go in those installation instructions. There's a link here. I wouldn't use this because I want to make sure I have the most up-to-date one. Click here. It'll bring you here. Scroll down. Once again, it doesn't matter what radio you have, it looks like. You click on GD77 and you download the ham version. Now, if you are using this for commercial purposes, like at work, don't use Open GD77 or do, and just know it's at your own risk and you may not be compliant with FCC uh, rules. Up to you. Up to you. I'm all for you do what you'd like. Just don't push it on me. So uh, click on here. Uh, if I was using this for work, um, I would definitely be talking with my work and seeing exactly their system. I wouldn't want to mess anything up. So you click on this, download it. Once it's downloaded, you look back here. It's nice and easy in the CPS. Now we can sort of ignore this right here um, because, yeah, ignore this for now. You're going to install the CPS. You're going to open the CPS, that software. You are going to click on Extras and then Firmware Loader, okay? Then, once that opens, you're going to click on Select Firmware. It will open up a window where you will choose your firmware that you just downloaded. It, it's exactly the one from Radiotity, right? That's the one you're going to choose. And then you'll have a little message that says the official firmware file has been verified and open firmware uploads will now have DMR functionality. The reason they had to do this was something along the lines of uh, some of the code being proprietary, that it couldn't be available publicly, and they needed to make sure to just use this built into it. So click OK. Then you need to put your radio into bootloader mode. Now, on the GD77, it's the two side buttons other than the transmit. So the blue button and the black button above it, you hold those, you turn it on, and you get a green light. Now, it should be plugged into the computer, and you're in firmware loader mode. Is it the same on the other radios? I don't know. 
So if that didn't work for you, if you don't have those buttons, just look up how to put yours into bootloader mode. Then select the correct radio model. For me, it was just the GB77. All of this was pretty straightforward, but now we're getting to the part where I got a little confused. Then they say you need to click select a file and update, and it says a file selection window will pop up. Go and select the open GD77 firmware you want to flash, but there's no link here to find that. So put a link in the description or type this one in. It's opengd77.com slash downloads. Then go to releases. Look for the newest one, so July is the newest one, for now. Click on it, then go to Firmware. Then you're going to choose the firmware for your radio, right? Those are the names of the radios. If you have a 77S, make sure you do this one. This one, is that for Japan? I'm not sure. Are those Japan? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I'd imagine there are some release notes somewhere, but... Uh, I just chose open GD77, click it. You might have to right click and say save link as, and then that'll be saved. Then you select a file and update, choose that bin file, hit, actually that'll just flash it on there. Turn your radio off, turn it back on. Now you might want to perform a reset and offhand, I don't know the reset. Maybe I'll put it in the description later. But when you turn it on, it will say open GD77. And it'll actually have your code plug if you don't reset it. But I'd imagine that code plug is pretty messed up. Maybe it's fine, but I'm going to be wiping it completely and then loading a new code plug. Uh, if you're interested in anything else about OpenGD77, check out the other videos on my channel. Feel free to just to subscribe. And I uh, hope it works well. 7-3, see you guys.